Okay, good morning and welcome back to Mod Pop Thrift. My name's Tom and this is the death pile. Not very big, no doubt. Well, it is still big at the moment. Um, it used to be taller than Levi from where I'm standing all the way back to those shelves, but we are making a hole in it. So like all of this stuff is stuff that needs donated. And so we, not this pile that is all video games, um, so we're getting that stuff loaded up in the van and we're going to make some trips to places today and part of it's going to be dropping off these books. Okay, so we're at the auction house, me and Asher and Levi, and uh, we'll see. I won some paperweights and we'll see what else. I don't even remember. So this is the auction stuff and there's some really awesome stuff that it was, if it was in a thrift store, I'd be making a play for it, but like... Do you show up and hope to get it cheap and bid it up on somebody else? I don't know. I don't love auctions because of the time suck, but this is a cool setup, especially that one. Asher, what did we uh, what did we get at the auction? A jacket, a jacket NASCAR, Nextel cup. It's leather and like canvas pretty cool so we'll put some comps up for this jacket or maybe i already did so i, sp I think i spent 20 dollars on that did okay so we paid two dollars and fifty cents for that thing and it's new on the card i don't know how much it's worth it's not super old but it's it's cool for two bucks and fifty cents i wasn't going to leave it and then are there any of these signed these uh these are paperweights and we spent a lot of money on paperweights uh the nascar jacket we spent 20 bucks on 750 for one of these paperweights and the rest of them we've put 10 bucks a piece but they're really good sizes they're really neat designs and uh i'll put up some comps for similar stuff these are like hand be a hand blown art this one is signed saint Clair. so this one bob so this says mod and bob 1983 St. Clair. Mod and Bob. Not Mod and Pop. Mod and Bob. Very similar, but not the same. So I think the paperweights are probably 25 bucks a piece. That uh, Mod and Bob one might be like 35, 40. Um, so 10 bucks a piece is probably too much to pay, but they're cool. And there were some really, really good ones that I was hoping to get at that 10 bucks price but uh one of them uh, the good real good one and i'll put up a showing from that listing right over levi's face uh went for like 60 bucks and it's probably you could probably double your money at that price goodwill with this guy ow i sure thinks we need to start in the media lots of junk records i don't really hardly look at the records anymore there's Janet Ivanovich, but not by the numbers series. You may. Doesn't look like there's much to see at all. We should get you could wonder. Asher's still way over there looking at books. I see you. <laughs> These were interesting. ACG, like, real weird. They look a little worn out, too. This is interesting. Country in West Bend. Buff, 12 inch buffet skillet. Nope, that's the same size as the one we got. Dyson vacuums. I don't like to mess with vacuums because you don't know what somebody who's using this for that made them decide to donate it. But there are people who do really well on Dyson vacuums. Old school Minnie Ma Mickey Mouse piggy bank. This Tweety hat looks kind of fun. I mean, it's only 265. If it wasn't so beat to death. Let's see. That's older. Missing the plug. Walt Disney World Productions made in Korea. 
a dollar fifty. At least I don't think they were. Not a lot in the toys over here. Star Wars glass bottle. Yeah, all their it isn't glass, it's plastic. Hmm. It's not Disney World, is it? Doesn't seem to be. Galactic Star Cruiser, yes it is. That if you're unaware, the Galactic Star Cruiser is a hotel that cost $5,000 to visit for two nights in the Walt Disney World Resort, and it is now gone. You cannot do it. So it only lasted like a year, and it was a big deal, and now it's gone. So that I knew when I saw this that it was going to be a big deal. That might be a really good thing. Levi pulling down heat, 264, Galactic Star, Star Cruiser, zero listed, eight sold. He's Looks like it's about 50 legs. bucks. Okay, so this is eleven dollars and forty-eight cents. You can with the rewinder, a manual for not the rewinder, and a remote for not this manual or this rewinder. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know. No, this calculator is just a normal calculator. Oh, eleven fifty. I don't think I'm picking it up for eleven fifty. It's cool. I'm gonna comp it and just make sure that a new unbox one isn't worth that. So this is not worth $11 for sure. There's uh, 40 listed even in new condition and 11 sold. And they sell for like between 10 and $15. So it's full retail. Levi found this lamp and it's $15, which is expensive, but it's pretty cool. Asher found a Tony Stewart t-shirt, but it's not vintage. And I don't do super well with Tony Stewart stuff. Just remote control control. new bright locomotive i'm gonna pass on that for sure well we only made 125 dollars because we only sold a handful of the games that is some legit and one like back when and one was a real brand and some of you young whippersnappers don't believe me that and one used to be a real brand and not walmart trash I don't know if it's five bucks, three. Okay, this Molina jersey is majestic and it's stitched, cool base, $4.99. I'm gonna phone a friend and make sure Molina still plays for the team and is worth getting, but just right here on the rack, Haynes heavyweight, Bulls single stitch. I've owned this shirt a time or two, but this is a real big one with nice fade. I don't think it's dated. But that's nice. $4.99. Just my boys picking through shirts. Proud Papa moment. What'd you find? Antique archaeology. Nope. Literally have a spider web in them. Sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm walking in the spider webs. What? That's a song, and that person would be walking in spider webs because they're. These are kind of cool, and I've said for a while, like, that brand is probably going to come back and be vintage soon. Literally have a spider web in them. Sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm walking in the spider webs. What? That's a song, and that person would be walking in spider webs because they're... These are kind of cool, and I've said for a while, like... That brand is probably going to come back and be vintage soon. Oh, look at this. Ninja Pro. It's probably real expensive. $7.99. Mario. This is from, this is his cart combination and new Mario movies. And also there's some like Hulk and can we get the bag of stuff? Yeah. Asher, what'd you find? This? That, that's what I found. $3.80. That is, it's a little beat up. Japanese tin. Oh no, that's Ohio Arts tin. Chinese checkers. It doesn't have the checkers. Uh, marbles in it. I looked at that. It's just too beat. It's cool. It would be worth picking up if it wasn't beat to death. I don't like the... I, it's not that I, because I don't like the Cardinals, but also, like, their stuff just doesn't sell very well. Think Birdie. So this is cool. 
16 bucks. That has really got like super hardcore 50s vibe going on. We're walking into the men's room. I see this FP81C. And it's beat up, but at $2.64, it's got about a 300% sell through rate for 50 bucks. Okay, so I'm a little on the fence at eight bucks on this. It's about a 50% sell through rate and might be $35 plus shipping. So this is a very cool lamp, but at 15 bucks, there's only one sold on Terrapeak in the last two years and it sold for 50 bucks plus shipping. And there's like 11 or 12, where did I say 11 listed? So it's just not worth picking up. So we're hitting three Goodwills, but my phone's about to die. So we're gonna have abbreviated footage on this one. There's my sons, let's go in. What did you just find, Levi? <laughs> Five bucks? Uh, yeah, that you remember that we were at that gas station and they had all those weird jerseys that were expensive. <laughs> Levi finding something else. How much is it? It better be cheap because I have two of them already. Five cool. bucks. Yeah. So there are three new carts. I'll tell you what we find. So this is what we were just talking about. This is crazy heavy for a blender. It's eleven dollars. It's worth about sixty. Kitchen Aid. Somehow I was recording this part on slow mo and then I sped it back up and it's amazing. <laughs> I think we're gonna pull that out and make sure that it's all there. If you like monkey pinatas, backyard again. How about a fire Jesus tea? Old school single stitch. I don't normally mess with hype shoes, but these caught my eye. I thought they were air up tempos. Adidas, and then they say Jeremy Scott, who I assume is Michael's cousin. I don't know, but those are cool. How much are they, even if they're like six bucks? 2015, I would probably pass this at our Goodwill, but at $2.99, it's probably a $15 shirt. So just this one? Thing. I wouldn't get that either. $11, $9, five bucks, three bucks, five bucks, seven bucks. <laughs> Two Lion King CDs, no thanks. Okay, so the phone's plugged in. We didn't get a lot of footage in there, but we got a lot of stuff. Um, and I think we'll make some pretty darn good money. Asher hasn't won yet. Levi won the first Goodwill and I won the second Goodwill. So Asher's gonna win the next Goodwill, right? Yeah. All right, Asher, this is yours. Goodwill number three for the day. And I'm gonna win. So Asher just found Full Metal Alchemist and Soul Eater, one, two, and something More else. More anime. Manga is the name of this. I don't know. I'll look them up. So Asher bought, paid 50 cents a piece for one, two, three, four, five books for resale. And then these were a dollar and 50 cents. And so uh, we'll comp all of those and put them up. I bought this for six bucks. It's a Sony portable DVD player with the charger. And then Levi bought this. Uh, hopefully I have the batteries for it because it's a buck 50 and it would be around $10 profit. But I, I think Asher did genuinely win the day. In that store, he uh, got those books, uh, probably five bucks a piece for those anime. And so my profit's like 20, Levi's is like 10 and his is probably 25. So we each won a store, even though this store didn't seem to have much, but we were just here yesterday. Tell them to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and uh, maybe subscribe. No, don't comment, just subscribe. No, do comment, because you're probably already subscribed. See you on the next one.